Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the digital program with Wizards TV. Our web project right here, this is a sortable grid. Now previously, as you guys saw, of course if you watch our previous tutorial, we looked at a sortable list. Uh, you can see it right here, this is a sortable list. Uh, we explored this one now today, we're going to modify it uh, so that it becomes a sortable grid. This right here of course is a sortable grid. You can see with very nice animations right here, we're able to sort our items, okay? Just by dragging the, of course, uh, grid items uh, to the appropriate position. For instance, India right here, it's our last item. If I want to bring it right here, I can simply uh, bring it to the first position. Now take note, of course, its index has changed from index 9 to index 1, right? This type of project, uh, as I had said earlier on, it can actually be useful for, say for instance, if you have, you're displaying, uh, you are the administrator of, say, like a blog, and you're displaying a grid, you are posting grid, okay? And then, your blog post, now you'd want to define a custom sort for them in your admin dashboard. You can simply just drag them, then of course you have to persist uh, that arrangement okay just you just sort them manually by of course uh, dragging them no that's it this is what we're going to look at right here of course just sorting items we're going to make use of two libraries javascript libraries first we're going to have the twin max the js just for the admin, uh, admin motion now you can see as you drag you can see there are some nice animations are getting displayed then of course the draggable.js which is going to allow us of course to be able to drag and drop these grid items that's it let's start now this is a client side project it's a client side project we're of course working with html css and js our javascript so we're going to start right here this is of course our, our three files uh we're going to first leave the source code below the link to the source code below so you guys can play with it now we're going to start right here of course with the html document first of course this is an html we are going to open the html tag then of course at the end of the day we'll need to close it the body the same we'll be opening the body and then of course closing it then before the body of course there will be the header head section right here inside the head we're going to have the meta then we're going to have the title which is actually the sortable grid all right so of course title we open we close it then of course we're going to reference now we're just referencing to css files first the first one is a third party a css file we're referencing it from the cloudflare.com so the normalized css right here the minified version of it as we had said is actually going to uh, allow us of course allow our project the html output of our project of course to be rendered consistently across different browsers so we are including it right here the normalize.css by the way this project was actually first written by black owen so i'm going to give it a credit for that we're going to leave this link below then we're going to have the style.css right here the style.css which is actually going to style our grid this simple a uh, simple a uh, style sheet that's going to be styling of course our grid of course we close the header we open the body inside the body we're going to open the section right here the class we're giving it the container then inside our section we're going to have our grid items okay this is our first grid item of course the class is the list item we give it an id a unique id right here then we come it's going to have of course the item content which we're going to define uh, right here the index which is one then of course the value which is alpha okay so this right here this is the definition for a single grid item now of course you can simply repeat it a uh, simply changing of course the id over there which is important then of course you may also want to change of course the index as well as uh, the value so just go ahead add more grid items these are the grid items that are going to be displayed of course in our grid that's it that's it 
uh, we make sure we close our section all right close the section then of course we come we reference three javascript files first of course right here from the cloudflare.com the first two the first one is the twinmax.js the minified version of it twinmax.js this is going to help us of course with the animation okay we saw uh, the animation of while dragging our grid items next we're going to have the draggable.js also the minified version of it we're also fetching it from the uh cloudflare cdn right here the draggable.js is going to of course empower our project so that you are able to drag and drop uh, the grid items lastly we're going to reference the index.js now this index.js this is of course our javascript file it's our custom javascript script uh, that we're going to be defining we're going to write code ourselves then body we make sure that we close the body of course we also close the html and that's it that's it for our html uh, document then we come to the style uh, css document right here of course the style css this is going to simply going to style our grid so this is it right here just styling of course of our grid items lastly we're going to come right here to the uh, javascript our javascript code so right here this is our javascript code now as you can see first we're using the use strict directive i had explained this one in the previous tutorial our sortable list this use strict directive it was added of course in javascript 1.8.5 ECMA script 5 is going to allow of course our code in this particular script or in this particular uh, file right here to be executed of course in the strict mode now this if you execute your code in strict mode this ensures that uh, some of the common errors are going to be flagged as errors for instance say you've not declared a variable okay if you don't use the strict mode then of course javascript uh, will won't of course show any error it will instead uh, declare a variable for you but then if you use the strict mode it's going to flag it as error so that's it we add the use strict directive of course uh, at the start of our script so that it's applicable to the whole of course of our script right here then we're going to have a declare just initialize five declare and initialize five variables right here now check note this one we're declaring them globally okay globally if you declare a variable globally it's going to be visible to all the functions of course uh, in that particular script it's going to be visible through the whole of that particular script so we're going to have the row size which is 150 the call size which is 250 the total rows that is the total number of rows we're going to have the total columns that we're going to have okay that's it then we have a simple array right here that we're calling cells we're initializing it to empty of course it's an array of cells is going aggregate is going to consist of cells right for instance each row is going to have three cells each cell of course uh, per column that's it we come right here we're going to map of course the locations of course to our array using a nested for loop right here now for var row equal to zero row is less than total rows row plus plus we're looping through the rows then as we loop through the rows we're also going to be looping through the columns okay the first row for instance is going to have the three columns so for each iteration of our row we're also going to be a looping and then of course adding uh, the columns now what we do we are defined this array called cells we simply call cells dot push now if we call the push method we're going to simply be pushing of course at the items of course in our cells array okay so row row call call then of course the x coordinate and then of course the y right here okay that's it we also come a container we are simply declaring this variable container now this variable container is going to contain the reference to our container document dot query selector container okay so we are selecting at uh, the container right here we are referencing the container 
this section known as uh, with the class container we are referencing with it of course from our javascript list items array dot form document dot query selector all uh, dot list item this right here is going to query all the list items of course in our html document and then of course add them in of course our array that we're going to call the list items okay sortables list items dot map this is sortable right here. this is a function that we're going to see then total sortables dot length now uh, the total uh, length of the length of course of our sortables are uh, variable right here does it twin light dot two no we said that this twin light uh, of course from our twin max the js is going of course to help us with the animation part change index this is our function right here our first uh, custom function that's going to be changing the I index of the item uh, that has been dragged for instance you drag the last item to the first of course we're going to change this index from the uh, last to the first or eight from uh, in this case from nine to one which is of course is our index then sortable uh, right here of course it's also our custom function right here then of course the drag action the down action okay now down action as you drag uh, going down and then of course uh, the drag action uh, right here also going to have the app action and then of course uh, a layout function right here as well as the array move and then the clamp now these are custom functions you guys uh you we are including the source code below it's well commented you guys shall explore them from uh, right there that's it guys this of course is our sortable grid all right so you guys make sure you leave us a comment down below subscribe to our channel if you haven't and take care i'll catch you in the next class